Here we are, here we are, here we are. Welcome to Nowhere Nomad. Huzzah, huzzah. I'm your host, Loki. Let's get on with the vid EO. Now, guys, shooting on a new camera. Oh, my God. I never thought it would happen. Anyway, VidCon. I bought tickets to VidCon, so we're going to VidCon. But first, let's have some breakfast, eh? So it's VidCon day. So I'm just walking to the tram station in St Kilda. I need to get the 96 tram to the convention centre, which is near the casino. VidCon will be on. It's 8.30 in the morning. It started at 8, opened at 8, so I didn't want to get there like too early. I wanted to get there like a fair time really to pick up my wristband and um, see what's going on basically. And then we can mingle and yeah, all that jazz. Video conference, go, go, go. So here we are by the uh, docks by Melbourne Convention Centre and VidCon. It's just in this building here. So those of you who are not in the know, VidCon is basically a video conference. It's over two days, it's a weekend thing. So fans of YouTube and creators on YouTube can all kind of get together and mingle and bounce ideas around and go to lectures and learn new things about video editing or um, see their favorites, creators perform a song or something like that. And it's just um, a real good opportunity to meet people and have fun. I've got a feeling that this is where I need to go here to get my uh, wristband. All right, here we are in the convention center. It is huge in here. Jeez, this is gonna take ages to queue up. Look at this shit right here. So the creator line is a lot shorter than the community line. <laughs> you know, like somewhere in the world, in a storage unit this big, lies the Ark of the Covenant. Let's get my scrap of paper that I need. Uh, no, you can hang on to that one. Awesome. Thank you. Alright, so we'll get you your badge for your weekend. So this is your access to everything that's happening at VidCon for both today and tomorrow. So Brilliant. do make sure you bring it both days. You look However, sweet. Have you got your blue tag by any chance? I don't Ooh, think you actually do. As long as you've got your badge. No worries. Sticky tape. Oh, that'll do actually. Yeah, sticky tape will do. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, guys. So, I've got my weekend pass create a pass. Just going to find where the uh, welcome party thing is. Or my program for the weekend. And we're just going to have a look, see what we can see. Okay, so here we are guys. There's lots of stuff going on everywhere. I don't even know where to start really. Ridiculous. Welcome to the fish tank. See these guys over here? They're all queuing up for goodie bags, giveaways. Merchandise area. Nerd and proud. Over here we've got meet and greets. People queuing up to meet some of their favorite YouTubers. Graffiti wall.
over there. This is like a handmade, hand woven, should I say, hand woven algorithm. This guy, James Patrick, he's been painting all weekend. People just generally going crazy in the, <laughs> in the soft play um, bouncy castle arena, I guess. Food court. It's boring. Area for the gamers. I'm just playing good old fashioned Jenga. Or Connect Four. So guys, the main reason why we're here is actually to try and pick up new subscribers and hand out these. So, I'm gonna go outside and hand out my, my business cards. So I'm just gonna tuck you away. See what we can, hi dude, enjoy VidCon. Enjoy VidCon. Hi guys, enjoy VidCon. Enjoy VidCon. Enjoy VidCon. Thank you. Hiya, enjoy VidCon. Cool, thank you. Enjoy VidCon. Thank you. Hiya, enjoy VidCon. Oh, just thank you. Thank you. You must do everything with love. To be honest, I feel like a, bit of a little bit of a robot saying, enjoy VidCon, enjoy VidCon. But I've got for a stack already, and uh, we've still got more people coming. I mean, I think I'm gonna go through these uber quickly. I'm getting other people's uh, channels as well, which is awesome. Okay, so I think it's going pretty well. I've, I've got rid of like literally half of the tickets, not even in an hour. I should have made more really, but um, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy busy. It's so funny, I've been out here handing out my little business cards and the only people, <laughs> the only other people who are out here are these girls who've been like jumping up and down in front of the VidCon sign for ages and this guy over here, like the furry man. This place is ginormous, ridiculous. I'm actually not sure where I'm going, just kind of making this up as I go along. So here we go, up the escalator of creation. <laughs> so cool. Man, I love this city. We built this city on video. Okay, here we go, doors are open. This is where we're going for our first talk. It is... Very tired now. Lack of sleep is beginning to show in my eyes. Just falling asleep in that last lecture. So I need to go out and get some food really, because it's ridiculous. Otherwise I'm gonna pass out, I think. Okay guys, so I'm learning a lot really from this conference. I'm learning that I'm probably not getting the views that I should be getting because basically all of my videos I'm wording them wrong, you know, I'm titling them all wrong. I've only just realised that being at this conference. Because you know, like, all of my videos I put Nowhere Nomad, the number of what video it is, and then the title after it. Well, apparently, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be putting the title first, and then maybe Nowhere Nomad, and the number after that. So yeah, I've just realized by being here, I've been, I've been wording everything wrong. So I'm being like, I'm shooting myself in the foot and being less discoverable to potentially new subscribers. So yeah, bit of a harsh awakening, but that's what I've learned so far. So basically I need to rethink how I'm doing my YouTube channel. A lot to take in really. A lot of good points, a lot of good comments. Need to get on it. Need to get stuck in. Oh, I'm so goddamn hungry. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Lord of the Fries there is an excellent vegan fast food restaurant, by the way. I'll probably do a video on it later. So, you got that to come. Um, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, really. 
VidCon, the last uh, two years, I've been wording all of my videos, or titling all of my videos wrong. Um, so from now on, from thus day forth, I shall be putting the title of my video, so what I've, what I've been doing during the day or where I've been going, and then after that, I'm going to put in brackets NN for Nowhere Nomad and then the number. That'll be the last thing that I'll put on. But the first thing will be the title of the video now. So you can expect to see a few changes to the how I'm going to be doing videos in the future. Yeah, I'm learning a lot from this uh, VidCon. It's, it's bloody interesting. Whew. Feel a bit more replenished now. I've got some food down me. So I'm going up for another lecture. It is. Facebook video for YouTubers, how to make it work for you. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised that do-it-yourself content uh, does really well. But actually the most shared video of all time on Facebook is a do-it-yourself video. Clever Hacks, I don't know if you've seen it. It had over 12 million shares, 3 million reactions as of the as of last week. So, basically that guy there was talking about how to advertise your YouTube channel on your Facebook newsfeed by doing short clip videos in portrait format rather than landscape. Now, I'm sure that's something I could get Walter or Percy to do, seeing as they're such camera hogs. <laughs> well, well, I, I can't help it if I'm supremely good looking, low key. <laughs> you know, but someone on this damn channel has got to be, you know, a ladies' man, you know, for, for the ladies. <laughs> it sure as heck ain't you. <laughs> yeah. So I feel it's going pretty well, like only a few left now, that's the thickness. And uh, just going to the last lecture of the day, which is basically how to run your YouTube channel on your own, um, which should be interesting. The joy of just making stuff, because you love doing it, you love dedicating yourself and, and sitting in a chair for a long time and your brain is stuck on this one thing and you're doing it and at the end you've done it and it, that's a wonderful feeling. Um, feeling like you're part of something bigger than you. That's great. I love that. Feeling like you're making someone else happy, making them smile, building a community. All good reasons, not the only good reasons. There are also sort of like maybe not great reasons, and I'm not saying like these are terrible and you're a bad person if this is part of why you create or part of why I create. Uh, winning, getting ahead of other people, regardless of whether you even like them or not. Just winning. Climbing up the mountain that doesn't have a top. Not necessarily a good motivation, but certainly one for me sometimes, and for a lot of people. Narcissism. I want people to look at me, because I think that I'm special. Uh, it's there, and I try to look it right in the face, and I say like, hey, that's there. I don't want to ignore it. I want to be aware of the bad reasons why I create. To be honest, this guy's got a really valid point about narcissism in videos and YouTubers. Um, I really don't want my videos to come across like that. Uh, I know I'm filming on a camera now, but I really don't like filming the black and white cutaways. Um, it's necessary to kind of link the sections of video together, but it's not my favourite part of, of making the videos, as you guys know. I'd much prefer standing behind the camera and actually filming the wildlife and filming the wonderful aspects of travel, like it's in first person. So it's like you guys are there, witnessing what I'm witnessing and I hope my videos don't come across as narcissistic I mean um, I, uh, I just want to like take what I'm seeing like the wonder of travel and the wonder of like what's around the world and kind of bring it to you guys um, and I really hope it doesn't come across as narcissistic um, so yeah so wow yeah a lot to think about really um, it's so interesting so many different points of views uh, got a lot to take home with me from uh, this conference, and uh, it's fantastic, really. I was chatting to a guy earlier, a cameraman, and he was uh, telling me some little tips and tricks about sound and lighting. And um, I don't know, you just meet like like-minded people, creators who want to create something decent. And um, it's been it's been a great two days, actually. Really, really good. All quiet. 
in the exhibition centre now. You know, after party's still going on up there. But I am tired, so very tired. So I'm heading back to the hostel now, guys. Peace out. Until we meet again, VidCon. VidGoo! So there we go, guys. VidCon Australia 2017, Melbourne, done. If you like this video, don't forget to smash me a like if you like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you share this video, that would be grand. Big gloves as always. Do everything with love, and I shall see you on the flip side. Creators, creators can meet other creators and gel together and do all that stuff that you wouldn't do, want to do in private, like each other. <laughs>